Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to work out your Facebook ads audience size with the new setup after Facebook have defaulted to turning on detailed targeting expansion, which can make it very, very difficult for you to work out how big your audiences are, which obviously impacts whether you want to target them or not, the results you're likely to get, all that stuff. Before I get into it, I wanna very quickly ask you to smash that like button, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already. So let me just explain what I'm talking about and the issue here. Some of you would have seen this, some of you probably won't have. If you've created a conversions campaign, which is the campaign objective I use most of the time, and you come into the ad set level and you come down to the targeting section, which is exactly what I've got in front of us right now. And you can see that over here on this side, we've got estimated reach is 5.9 million to 56.4 million uh, based in the UK. Okay, basically the number of Facebook and Instagram users that are active in this country. Now, of course, if I want to go and add in detailed targeting options, let's say, for example, I was to advertise in my industry, um, in the digital marketing space looking to reach small business owners, I can go with something like business page admins. And of course, you may well have your own options and, um, um, well, you will have your own options for interest targetings and things like that, depending on the products and services that you sell. Now, here's the problem. I've added in business page admins and look, the estimated audience size, well, the lower end has changed slightly for some reason, but basically it hasn't changed at all. And the reason why is because Facebook have got detailed targeting expansion turned on and you cannot turn it off when using conversion campaigns. And what that means is that I'm telling Facebook, look, these are my targeting criteria. This is who I would like to target at, at the detailed targeting level, this behavior in this case. Facebook saying, yes, we've got that. We're going to target those people, but we're also going to potentially target absolutely everyone else if we think it's gonna get you better results. Now, that's not very helpful in working out audience size because I need to know how big this audience is. I don't want to advertise to this audience if it's tiny. I might not want to advertise to this audience if it's massive. Audience size is a really important factor in determining which targeting options you are and aren't going to target. And I've got videos on audience size, so I'll include a link in the video description below. So a lot of people are putting in their audiences and in their interest, behavioral targeting options down here, and they're going, I haven't got any estimated audience size, what do I do? Here's what you do. So I'm gonna close this down. And that's, uh, I've got a conversions campaign created. That's what new campaign is. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is create a new campaign. I'm going to use a different objective. I'm going to go ahead and use reach. And let's pop a name, uh, let's pop uh, create in there. And then this new campaign, I'm gonna to come to the ad set level and I'm just gonna quickly rename this so for, for clarity. So this is the reach, the ad set in the reach campaign. Then I'm gonna scroll down to this same section, okay? Um, we can see the, re the estimated audience size is, again, slightly smaller at both ends of the range. Don't really know why. None of these detailed targeting criteria are different, but there we go. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go ahead and add in business page admins. Okay, add that in. And now we can see that my estimated audience size is 666,000 to 701,000. The reason why we can now see it when we're using the reach objective is because reach objective does not have detailed targeting expansion turned on. In fact, you can't actually use detailed targeting expansion with reach. And that gives us this really valuable bit of information here, which is estimated audience size. Now, the way the detailed targeting expansion works with your conversion campaigns is that Facebook will only go beyond this, let's say roughly 700,000 people, if they think you're gonna get better results. So it's still very, very important to add in detailed targeting criteria, like interest behaviors and things like that. And it's very important that the estimated audience size for this detailed targeting criteria is in a good range. And I said, there's a video beneath that will show you, it's sort of 250,000 minimum up to a certain level. You still wanna make sure you're in that range. And this is how you work it out. Now, of course, you don't need to run the reach campaign. And depending on what you're looking to do with your Facebook ad campaigns, you may do, you may not, but you can just have a side reach campaign created. This is just in draft mode to let you know what your estimated audience size is so that you can then come back into your um, conversions campaign and you can run this targeting and know that the estimated audience size is appropriate. Great, we're roughly around 700,000 in the UK. That's fantastic, let's go ahead and advertise. Um, and you can obviously do that with lots of different ad sets. You can do that with um, all the different detailed targeting options like interests and behaviors and things along those lines, okay? Um, well worth doing, and if you've been wondering, how on earth do I work out how big my audiences are with a new setup? 
that's how you do it. Okay, before you go, a couple of things I want to quickly mention. The first is our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, is a specialist Facebook and Instagram advertising agency. We create, manage, and optimize Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns for our clients. If you want better results on the platform, we can almost certainly help you achieve that. So the next step, if you're interested, is to book a call, a free call with one of my team members. Just click on the link in the video description below. They'll be able to tell you all about our service, um, how we work. You can tell us about your business. We can let you know if we feel like we'll be able to get you great results. Um, we do have a 3K per month minimum budget, so please only book a call if you have that sort of budget or are about to have that sort of budget. But um, but yeah, hopefully we get a chance to, uh, to work together. Um, other thing I want to mention is a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And if you're looking to do this yourself or perhaps you don't have that sort of budget, um, this would be a perfect thing to go through this webinar, right? Um, it will show you the sales funnels that we use with our clients most often. It'll show you how they work step by step. We'll show you which one you want to use depending on the products or services you sell, which is really, really important. So again, completely free, links in the description. As I said, if you want to learn Facebook ads yourself or um, you know you don't have that sort of budget to work with a company like mine yet, strongly recommend you go through the webinar. Either way, best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys. If this has been useful, comment below to let me know. Hit that thumbs up button and of course, subscribe to my channel for more Facebook ads related content. Thanks. Bye for now.